So your morning started and you don't know what's up. Give me your ear and I grab at your cup. It's the time of the week you've been waiting for. So tune on in and we'll give you some more. Cause there's only one show that makes you good to go. It's Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. I'm Sheila Burke and I'm Samantha Rodriguez from AAPI Club and this month we're celebrating Asian American Pacific Islanders month. Because it's AAPI month, Cup of Joe presents to you a special episode. We hope you enjoy. Throughout May, AAPI Club held a series of spicy food challenges for students and faculty. Let's take a look at how the Rams handled the heat. Hi, right, so this is our spicy food challenge and we have an assortment of spicy foods that we are going to be trying, and uh, this is roughly what we thought was least spicy to most spicy, so. Oh, I thought was. At the easiest <laughs> to <laughs> Wasabi peas, um, our ling chi sauce, uh, kimchi, and ko chu chong. Uh, we have some more pastes over here. We all have uh, forks and stuff. You should wear gloves. Um, we have red finger peppers, wasabi, jalapenos, Serrano pepper, well we didn't really know what these were. <laughs> Chili peppers, <laughs> serrano <laughs> peppers, <laughs> and habaneros. Um, okay, so the rules are you guys are gonna try things from like the beginning to like the end. And we're gonna give you some time to like stew in the pain before you get to try the other stuff. Because some of these things take a while to get a reaction, like a minute. And the first person to reach for a glass of milk because they're suffering loses. Okay. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Is it good? Tastes yeah. good? Delicious. At least it tastes good. Okay, but the same. Are you excited for this challenge? Are you scared? Yeah. Good, good, good. You should be. How are you doing, Mr. Alvis? I'm gonna let you eat. Feeling the spice? Okay, good work. A little hot. A little hot. How are you doing? You, are you feeling the spice? Huh? Impressive. I believe Nam is gonna win it. He's gonna win it for the motherland. Don't fight this stuff. Obviously. Have fun, kids. A sriracha, which is magic sauce, we're going to use sauce. as a, an add-in to our spicy ramen, which has the character for fire on it. So that's cool. a good sign. Competition. You're gonna, you're participating. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Are you nervous? How are you feeling? I'm gonna win, baby. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Are you alright? No. Cool. 
Hi, my name is Angelina Yoshimura. This is my piece, I'm Tired. It's about Asian hate, and it's from Ramsam Poets. I'm tired. I'm tired of explaining my identity like I'm some exotic entity because it's okay to have curiosity, just ask what my ethnicity because I'm tired. I'm tired of this game. It makes my eyes aflame, call me a slur, and I'm to blame. We're wailing like such a shame. You still have a claim that you have no negative aim, but I'm tired. I'm tired of agreeing to terms and conditions I didn't know existed. Educating people who won't listen to anyone but their social media feed. They think every Asian is the same, but we're just one endless reflection of a mockery of model minority of desire. But I'm tired of the backhanded compliments. Walking down the street being called a hot chink on my way home. For the record, just because I look like your Google search does not make me a private tab. You open up, I will be a virus that infects your ego like a computer. Too stubborn to let you get away, but maybe I'm just tired of being opened up without permission. I'm tired of not getting the credit we deserve, but only credit for a disease we didn't control. Like Patsu, Patsy Matsum Takamoto Mink, the first ever woman of color of a U.S. House of Representative members, or Kapala Chalawa, the first Indian-born woman to fly into space, or Chen Shang Wu, the first lady of physics, influence, and radioactive material in the Manhattan Project. These are the women you should have learned in history. Instead, these are names you don't bother to pronounce correctly. You mock them as if you have the ability, and I'm tired of the stupidity. I want to be seen. Having people who look like me on TV, only being recognized for a statistic when I'm not just some GPA slowly declining as the mockery increases, the model minority burns into ashes until there's nothing left to desire. I'm not tired of being proud. <laughs> pride is the one thing that has not killed me yet. Each slur, insult, is just the steps leading into my pride, my Japanese pride, of which my father, his father, his father weren't allowed to have in fear of their lives. Hawaiian pride that's carried me through the plane. Despite my own shame, the pride is my literal blood slimming through my veins. The only thing that awakens me through the hate. The pot of activism <laughs> boiling in my brain because we are not your mockery, your model minority, your desire. We are living and breathing, ready to stand up for ourselves, strutting on a pedestal of pride cemented together with my ancestry. I realize I'm too tired to defend my pride. Tumbling down the steps, I find I'm tired. I'm tired of being your target, the one you blame for your shame. So I tell you, go find another Asian girl, look her up online, do what you do. It'll be easy to see me since we all look the same to you. Hi, my name is Zoe Pileggi, and I'm here with Stella Lim and Sugarfit. What are some enjoyable things you do in AAPI? Uh, in AAPI, we get to make friendship bracelets to like kind of spread awareness for May 26th. So uh, we also get to like just meet new people um, from every class, so, like upperclassmen or incoming freshmen. Um, also allows you to like celebrate your backgrounds pretty much, so you get to learn about not only if you're Japanese or like Chinese, you also get to learn about like people from Southeast Asia. Well in API Club we discuss a lot about um, Asian culture, but we also talk about um, Asian American uh, specific issues such as the model minority myth. Mm -hmm. um, but we also blend in a lot of fun into the club, mm -hmm. and we do that by introducing individuals to Asian cuisine, uh, Asian snacks, and uh, overall, uh, I recommend everyone to go to it at least once because it, it is a fun experience there. Thanks. Who are some AAPI role models you have? Uh, for me personally, it would be my dad. He, um, yeah, he's an immigrant here, so it's really great to kind of learn about his life in Korea, but also what kind of what he built for me here. Um, for me, it'd probably be either my grandma or my mom as um, my grandma was lived most of her life in Laos, so she experienced all uh, everything really through the Vietnam War and all that stuff. Well, my mom was also born in Laos, but she was only there for a few years. So it's very cool to learn about the culture and how life is really different from America as compared to Laos. That's a good question because for a lot of Asian Americans, due to how I guess limited in terms of um, our reach within the American cultural atmosphere, we do need a role model, and I would say Tammy Duckworth, uh, the current um, senator of Illinois, mm -hmm. is one of my role models just because uh, she's a prominent Asian American in a high position of power. Why is it important to celebrate AAPI Month? Uh, well, it's important to like 
celebrate our cultures as well as like kind of spreading awareness because I feel like a lot of Asian cultures that are well known or not I guess glorified in a sense or like East Asian cultures um, Korea Jap Japan uh, China but like Southeast Asian country countries don't really get that kind of like I guess um, what's the word recognition recognition yeah uh, going along with what Stella said, I think it's just a great way to really bring light to everybody because um, most people think of Asia, they think of Chinese obviously because it's such a big country, but there's so much more than just Chinese and Japanese. You have hundreds, so many different cultures and celebrations. Well, we celebrate API Month to um, remember and acknowledge uh, the work of Asian American uh, within our country and how Asian Americans, just like any other race or ethnicity, contribute to the cultural atmosphere of this country. Thank you, Kobe. Aww. How many half Asians do you know? Here are some celebrities that are half Asian that you may have heard of. Her is of Black and Filipino heritage. Naomi Scott it is of Gujarati, Indian, and English heritage. Waititi is of Maori, Russian, Jewish, and Irish heritage. And Keanu Reeves is of Chinese, English, Irish, Native Hawaiian, and Portuguese heritage. Did you know the islands of the Pacific, such as the Hawaiian Archipelago, Papua Nui, also known as Easter Island, Samoa, and New Zealand were first discovered and settled by the Polynesian people? The Polynesian people and the descendants of the Polynesian people, such as Hawaiians, Samoans, and the Maori of New Zealand, have a strong connection to culture relating to seafaring. Polynesian peoples were able to travel between and discover far Pacific islands through advanced techniques for the time, such as using the night sky for navigation or using wave patterns and observations of bird migration. See you next time. Happy AAPI Month, Rams. Clink. Hey, Rams. Today, I'm. Uh, yeah. Hey, Rams. Uh. Your glove. Yep. I love how Onyx is so chill about just casually throwing up the corner. Bro, what is this? Oh, oh, Alright, good job guys! Wow! Nobody's tapping out. I no jumping out. Seriously. <laughs> Who's a remote? Uh, I can't speak words today. Some early signs of tears. I am in pain. <laughs> I'm so <laughs>